WTFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome to the 2 p.m. update here at TFNN. And, of course, uh, when we are looking at the markets today, the first question is, well, we're up 40-some-odd points on the S&P cash. We had very light volume when we uh, closed up on Friday. So the question is, um, is this going to be the first time we get volume to the upside? We didn't have much to the downside. Answer? So far, no. We're only doing about 5.6 billion shares on the CBOE consolidated tape, which means this is a light volume pop as Friday's was a maybe even Thursday a little bit of light volume push down. So not a lot of stuff that says this is going to be a uh, bigger move. And that we are probably in some kind of sideways action. Uh, as I look at the market, it looks like we're probably on hold uh, through Thursday, Thursday night, where we have some major earnings. This week, we have a ton of micro and small cap stocks that probably are not going to move the market whatsoever. But that's, uh, that's kind of it. Now, when we uh, get into some of the other big stuff going on today, it, it, uh, I'm going to say it's just uh, a lot of sideways action. No big, uh, no big stuff really happening. But uh, eh, that's kind of it. Uh, anyway, uh, as we said, probably the big story here isn't that we have a pop. Uh, or a drop in the market. It's that we don't have much in the way of volume, which means that generally you're in some kind of sideways action. Anyway, at the moment, uh, what is it? Uh, we're up 47 on the S&P cash. The Dow's up 360. NASDAQ's up 189. Uh, the Russell's up uh, 22. Crude oil's up 58 cents. And gold Mr. Goldilocks is down $8.40. Be back in just a few minutes with the rest of the show. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. 